Bonjour, let's talk about French Impressionism. Prepared by Tanushri Parihar, mentored by Professor Amitabh Kumar, course French Language and Culture. How it all began? About 1863, a few young artists in Paris revolted against a rigid art establishment launching French Impressionism. It took about 20 years for the Impressionist artist to be identified instead of mocked. Small, thin, but visible brush strokes, open composition, emphasis on accurate depiction of light in its changing qualities, often highlighting the effects of the passage of time, usual subject matter, and presence of movement are characteristics of French Impressionism. French Impressionism arose as an antidote to academic painting. This new movement focused on topics and scenes from everyday life, abandoning historical, mythological and Near Eastern themes. The goal was no longer to paint a large fresco with a faithful visual representation, but to express one's feeling while painting. Defining Impressionism the term French Impressionism relates to the painting Impression Sunrise by Claudemont. Claudemont's work was highly criticized in the press, sparking the birth of a new art movement. He ignored the criticism and continued to paint in the modern design, which was unlike anything anyone had seen before. The main characteristics of the French Impressionism Color was being shattered, brush strokes that is loose and fluent, loose and sometimes inaccurate drawings, a focus on capturing the fleeting environment and our perception of the world, compositions that engages you in the painting. The artist who began the French Impressionism movement, Claude Mont, Edouard Monet, Perry Auguste Riva, Edgar Degas, Gustave Calibot, Camilo Pissarro, and Berthe Morisot are among the most well-known French Impressionist artists. Manet influenced the evolution of French Impressionism by painting everyday objects. Pissarro and Sicily painted landscapes and river scenes in France. Edward Manet. The revolution began with Edward Manet, as evidenced by the affair caused by his painting of Olympia in 1865, nobody had ever moved so far away from his forefathers as Manet had. The painter did not dismiss the art in museums, but he did not discover himself in them, and he learned on only enough from them to be able to create new compositions. Manet strayed from academic skills in his own way. He reduced depth altered volumes, replaced designing with curved inflations, displayed color schemes in large fields, and bordered clear areas directly on closed areas. His art is notable for the fact that he rarely created pure landscapes and was always concerned with structure. Manet was very concerned with the presence of the human figure in his work. Claudemont. Claudemont was a French Impressionist founder and one of the most talented painters of his generation. Claudemont, along with other major figures such as Perrier Gestariva, founded the Impressionist movement in response to the dictates of academic painting. He abandoned realism and gave his art an unreal tone. Monet's art became more imprint impressionistic, but he always relied on an analysis of reality. His most well-known work include Impression Sunrise and Water Lilies. Pere Auguste Riva Riva's artistic vocation emerged early in his life, and he went on to become one of the most famous French impressionist artists. He also visited Charles Cleary's private studio where he met other artists such as Claude Mont, 
Priva was drawn to French Impressionism because he enjoyed the challenge of capturing and reproducing light. And he frequently composed joyful scenes of celebration or shared happiness. Lunche of the boating party, Two Sisters and L.A. Grignol are among his most famous works. Gustave Calibot. Gustave Calibot, a gifted artist, was a dedicated humanist and supporter of the arts. Calibot is well known for his dedication to and support of the French Impressionist movement. During the last quarter of the 19th century, he organized four exhibitions dedicated to this artistic movement. Though Gustave Calibot painted as a hobby and was sometimes mistakenly labeled as an amateur, art historians now regard him as a unique and daring artist. His most famous works include Paris Street, Rainy Day, The Floor Scapers, and View of Rooftops, all of which are powerfully artful and movingly bear witness to 19th century Paris. In the first half of 2016, the Giverny Museum hosted an art show of 80 works devoted to this artist. Conclusion France was becoming a place of innovative and new ideas as the Industrial Revolution took off. People became more open-minded, which assured in the era of French Impressionism. The new painting style would have a significant impact on art. More classical art styles were then supplanted by these more vibrantly colored art styles. Thank you.